Oh, hey, you're here. Um, yes, it's that time. We're going to talk about Nimrod's uh, for its 25th anniversary. I went back and I re-listened to the album. I'm four days late, believe it or not. Um, uh, if you're wondering where I've been, my, I haven't been feeling the best. My neck's sore and my, I have headaches. Um, so we're going to talk about this album. I'm going to give you my thoughts. Um it's a very well-rounded album with a lot of different stuff from, of course, the classic ballad, of, which is Good Riddance, Time of Your Life, to, um, what else, um, Hitchin' a Ride, to almost me- metal songs with Take Back. Um, it's a good wide range of music for pretty much anybody. Um... This album has a lot of songs, 18 songs. Um, I think that's the most songs they had on an album um, so far, to my knowledge, because it's usually like 10 tracks. You know, this is the long. I think this is one of the very one of the very few albums that has a lot of tracks that I I know of. Um, and then next up, with five more tracks, would be Four Dances to Freedom, if you count the original pressing. Anyway. Um, here to talk about Nimrod. Um, it's a really good album. I hadn't heard it in... Jeez. Again, this takes me back to high school days when I was really into them. I haven't heard it in... I want to say three or four years. It's been a while. I haven't I haven't heard it in a while. been listening to more metal and, and grunge and stuff. Um, really good one at that. Um, it's been a while. As I said, it's been a while. But... Yeah, they also announced something. We're going to do a reaction, and I'm going to show you. Well, let's do the reaction first. This is, uh, they, they're going to do a 25th anniversary set. Uh, we're we're going to react to this uh, one of the demos from that era called You Irritate Me. Here we go. Very Ramonesy. Interesting breakdown over there, like slow and then back to speed. Not bad. Not bad. Um, I, I, it's okay. It's not the best song in the world. Um, I, Again, it feels very Nimrod era esque. It's not the best song in the world. Um, again, I haven't heard this album in a while. Um, so yeah, it's not bad. It's not the best. Um, I kind of like how the album is. There's better songs than others on the album. Uh, Whoops! I cut myself off. Ooh. Okay, let's look at the. Um, I'm gonna show you what the CD set looks like. Again, there's a vinyl. Uh, there's a final really record counterpart which I shall show you right now where 
where that tab went. Well, actually, I actually gotta close something on that one. Okay, now it's ready for me to share with you. Pardon that. I think it's this. Um, I don't know where it went. Huh, window capture. Alrighty, there we go. That was an awkward pause, I'm sorry. Um, this is what it looks like. This is what it's going to come with. It's going to come with three CDs. Um, uh, this price is too much. If it were $20, I would consider it. But $49.98 uh, is way too much for me. Um, it comes with the album on uh, CD. You get... Um, you're going to get on here the album, as it says. And then you get demos from the era. Like, what we, what you just heard of um, uh, that song, You Irritate Me. There is just a compilation of stuff um, that was skipped. And then on the other CD, you get um, Live at the Electric Factory. Um... So, yeah, here's what the track listing is. Um, Hitching the Ride, of course. Take Back, total, like, metal moment. <laughs> and then King for a Day, kind of ska-like. Here's the demos. <laughs> Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Desensitized, which was a um, B-side. Same with the, the Jinx over here. Um, espionage was uh, later on the... Uh, what's his, what's the name? Uh, Austin Powers soundtrack. Um, like this change on my, I'm curious to see. When it's time, is that the when it's time that was on the American Idiot musical? Beautiful song. Um, live at the Electric Factory, Golden Palace Squatta, um, Geek Sting, a bunch of classics on here. Brain Jaded, of course, Knowledge. FOD, Paper Lanterns, classic songs um, that very encapsulate the era. Um, uh, will I get it if it's $20 and it goes on sale? Yes. If it's going to stay at that price forever? No. Um, it's a nice set, but it's too much for my budget. I'm curious to see what the packaging is going to look like. For that set, because uh, Green Day has never really done like big extravagant box sets like Metallica, Guns N' Roses, you know these big bands like Guns N' Roses is doing the 30th for Illusion, Usual Illusion one and two. Uh, that those two CD pick I might pick up, so stay on the lookout for that. Um, the oh yeah I forgot to tell you the release date for the sets. It says up here. Let me go back to share screen is um not too far away like two or three weeks from my birthday um i'm not gonna bother turning my screen off part in the top and bottom uh december t uh 27th 2023 um gonna be a little bit late for the release um late for the anniversary but whatever it's again it's one of those things that if it were cheaper i would buy but at this price I, I, I just can't. Um, anyway, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Catch you all later. Peace. Oh, whoops, peace.